Hello everyone and welcome to the channel Deb Chanel's 40th World and we're gonna come with a very short video it's gonna be we're gonna be talking about Nene Leakes and Garcella Bouvier you know Garcella Bouvier or Bouvier is over there at the Real Housewives of New York I believe oh I'm sorry Beverly Hills and Nene is down here in Atlanta Georgia but I'm pretty sure before next year ends she'll more than likely be the either in New York uh what do you call it um los angeles or the dmv baltimore oh and i'm just saying that because she has history in all three states personal and some business related but those are just my thoughts my opinions on what she pre uh, will produce for us in another state Atlanta will always be home to her but I pretty much think she's gotten tired of it and you know from what I've heard Lenithia has gifted her Lenithia lounge to her youngest son Brent and he's supposed to be kind of taking over it and even though she still says her club or her lounge from what I understand I did catch a little short snippet of a video that she was gifting him the Lanethia. so everything's been tied up and presented in a big old pretty bow box for us and we can look to see her in television somewhere doing something even if it's just uh what do you call it a real another reality show or she may get a chance to appear on a sitcom who knows all right we speak good things for nini because you know nini's worked hard nini's played the field as best as she could but you know when she calls bullshit she calls bullshit so with andy cohen allegedly leaving um or stepping down from his position as hosting for the real housewives of atlanta maybe it's setting a tone where she can't come back uh or hell they might give her own show who knows you know this world is so fickle or the leaders in the world are so fickle they do in and everything just to produce revenue and line their t pockets deep uh, than what they play their real uh, players of the game by paying them peanuts okay but um basically this video is all about Garcelle Bouvier she's over there with the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills to me I look at Garcella as a Cynthia it takes a lot to get her cookies boiling and when they are boiled and ready to disperse it still don't come out with a big bang you know what i'm saying it's just like an eruption but it doesn't really do anything don't really do any damage so uh yeah but she spoke on certain uh platforms when she was doing interviews pr press of course and one uh interviewer had asked her did she ever get any advice from a current housewife on how to maneuver and navigate through the franchise or the particular um franchise she's on and very surprisingly she said nene leaks i'm like what now you know ain't none of that my business is as quiet as it kept loud i'm speaking out i was like i know one thing for sure and two things on gossip girl garcia acts just like cynthia bailey meaning they be ringing her out to dry as much as they can possibly can because she just don't look like that type of person with a comeback or a, a good comeback you know what i'm saying like putting people in their place she kind of look kind of now when she was playing fancy on the jamie fox show she was like okay i can handle her she cool she cool people she set people straight when they cross the line you know when they infringe on her rights and her abilities to do stuff but then if I, I think I watched her maybe one or two times on um, the Beverly Hills franchise of the Housewives. And she just wouldn't get, you know, she was just letting them women walk all over her and say in and everything. And I'm like, girl, where's the struggle in you? Where's the struggle that you can put these people in their place? Okay, pleasantly, uh, the, the disastrously, or just downright rude. Put their behinds in place. But... You didn't give me that, so I had to move on to higher ground and start watching something else. But anyway, the reality T brought this uh, video out or article out. She just tells one name, Angelina, 
I guess she's a writer over there. Write up, write up commentary on different uh, celebrities out there doing the darn thing in the news uh, outlet. But she titles it, Garcilla Bouvier says, Nene Leakes gave her the best advice prior to joining Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And I think Nene one brought Cynthia Bailey on as well. And believe it or not, Cynthia trying to make amends with Nene. And I don't think Nene buying it. Nene is not buying it because she still couldn't come up, meaning Cynthia, with a good excuse of why she didn't come. She says, and several past interviews after everything was done and said that she really regrets not going to um greg's celebration of life uh celebration party and or event and it just didn't sit well with it it's probably still not sitting well because you know what i feel i felt mike held cynthia up because if she didn't have no man in her life i'm pretty sure she would have been there Okay, but it's just this whole I feel Mike has on her where he pretty much tells Cynthia where to come and go and how far to give something to another. If it's not going on him or the kids, he really feels like he really needs to give her direction on what to do. Now, that's just my opinion. I have no facts to present to uh, make my case credible what I'm saying, but I'm basically... Just going by what I feel, what I see. And I'm a good judge of character. At least 85% of the time. Okay? Giving the other percentage as error. But <clears throat> going into the latest article, she says, Joining the cast of Real Housewives must be daunting. Even for a seemingly confident and successful Hollywood figure like Real Housewives of Atlanta, Beverly Hills, Garcia, or Bouvier. Or Bouvier. As the Real Housewives community grows, newcomers like Garcia now luckily have a multitude of ladies across the franchise to refer to for support. Chances are due to the way the show is cast, the new cast members either know another housewife through the grapevine or can make a personal connection to one. The Peach Report Daily recently highlighted a past moment of Watch What Happens Live where Garcelle revealed to Andy Cohen which housewife had the best of which... Wait a minute. They had the best guidance for her as a newcomer. In a game of which Housewives, where Garcia had her own Real Housewives of Beverly Hills castmates to choose from, Andy asked which wife gave you the best advice prior to joining the group. Taking a quick moment to recall, Garcia explained, not on this franchise, another one, somebody else. He turns out that... It turns out that the housewife of Atlanta alum, Nene Leakes Garcia, explained Nene as Andy asked if she could say who. We love a good housewife franchise crossover friendship and Nene and Garcia have appeared to be allies for a while. Just last year, Garcia even called for the Nene to join the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills following her close friend and ally Denise Richards exits on the show. When asked what advice the Real Housewives of Atlanta provided Garcia quit to a gleeful Andy. She said, girl, they are going to be lying and stabbing you in the back. Watch out. Okay. And I'm like, hey, that was some solid good advice. Glad you took note because they sure will tear your butt up, Garcia. But if you didn't have, I guess, Nene to lean on to call off air, you know, and say, how do I deal with this situation? And... Oh, fast, quick, and and her and Nene giving you the tea to go and 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 make them surrender, make them bow down to you, type of uh advice, I guess, because she must have took it. She's still on the show, but then again, we had Cynthia, who's been around him since season three, and she we just left her, just got her off the show, meaning her last season was season thirteen. So you can still have a run, a long run on the show, but each year. The powers that be really be reflected on why do they need you? What are you bringing to the table? Okay. Or can we keep you and, and, and cut your salary that we once was paying you in half? And that's pretty much what they did to Cynthia. And Cynthia more than likely listening to her current husband. Probably said, no, nah, baby, just cut that loose. Cut that loose. And she probably said, okay, I'm going to cut that loose. And she went and cut it loose. Dumb. 
move but that's just my pun intended but going back to the article it says we are guessing nini advice continues to ring truest for garcia particularly after contending with dorette kinsley and lisa reyna this year on real housewives of beverly hills the ladies seem to be particularly crucial or garcia this season holding her to account for her actions whenever they saw it with dorette even labeling garcia a bully at one point this treatment shortly contrasted with their treatment of erica jane whom they supported blindly to a fault all season long the pair continued their vendetta at the beginning of the reunion, doubling down on their position that Garcia makes worse digs than the other ladies. Garcia, having known Lisa Renner for 20 years, seems particularly stunned by Lisa's actions towards her. Although Andy managed to get part one of the reunion to end on a positive note, with Garcia and Lisa hugging it out and Dorit apologized for calling Garcia a bully. It's wild how prophetically accurate nini comments were we are willing to bet two seasons in if any new housewife came to garcia at this point for guidance she'll have no problem preparing them for the worst okay and it is it's a double-edged sword you can make some friends on these reality shows and then your so-called friends that you once trusted told all your intimate details to secretly hey and the next season, they can be airing all that out. And they'll be looking at you like a fool. Like, if you wanted to be kept a secret, you should have kept between you and the Lord. Yep. And that's my advice, too. If you don't want this and told, don't tell nobody. Keep it between you and the Lord. And it's safe. It's pretty much safe until the Lord want to reveal it. And then, <laughs> what they say, everything done in the dark will come to light. And you have to answer for your infractions. Okay? But, uh, yeah, that's all I had for this particular video that Reality T um, brought out for our convenience of knowing what's going on with the who's who in the celebrity realm and how they are moving and shaking through their channels of uh, moving in the industry. But I was like, what, Garcelle? She could have had anybody she could have chose. And who did she choose? The self-proclaimed head B.I.C. on Real Housewives of Atlanta, the Queen. She comfort uh, or confronted Nene for advice. Enlisted, we call it, enlisted her to give her some advice. Now that's powerful, isn't that powerful? But I love to see black women unite and try to take down other people that come for them in unnecessary ways. So, okay. I don't know, it may beg the difference that Nene may go to Beverly Hills. Like I said, she has a clear-cut shot. She has no kids to really be concerned with. Um, she can definitely come see her family and grandchildren periodically whenever she feels like she needs to or wants to. She can always FaceTime. But I really believe if she really wants to do something, she'll probably go back to California. Because New York may be a little bit too fast for Nene and too cold. Uh, and she likes to show skin. She likes the sun glistening on her. So it would be fitting to say she would probably end up in California for a while. Not saying she might not come back and retire here in Georgia or maybe Florida. But uh, I think she's ready to spread her wings. I think she wants to be around what she's been working so hard to um, build her career in she wants to be in hollywood she wants to be in hollywood and do all those freaking things and then again she might reconcile her friendship with um wendy williams you know wendy williams is going through a lot of life changing events at this point medical as well as personal and business wise so she may be someone nene can um definitely learn from uh, especially if she wants to be a talk show host or if that's something she thinks she wants to venture into later on. Wendy Williams would be a perfect mentor for her. But that's just me saying what I'm saying. I have no validity in what I'm saying. I'm just speaking my mind and my opinion. Okay. But if you like and love and you cherish these videos that I do on a daily basis. Okay. And believe me, I don't sit up here every day and make a video they're pre-recorded so if you see them dropping every day 
that's pretty much what it is unless something is like breaking news and i have to come down here and talk to my family about it okay i be ringing a bell ringing a bell ringing a bell like a school bell inviting the kids to come from recess back into the classroom so they can learn a little more that's what i be doing okay so Nene is not as bad as people really portray her to be. She be dropping gems for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. She be dropping gems, honey. And some of them white folk, they like Nene, okay? So I would not be surprised if she not have her a pink chair up there one day. But I don't know because Nene is not kind of the type of spreading rumors about friends. Because mm. they might remember some dirt that nini had and they might want to bring out too so it takes a special person to be a gossip columnist such as what wendy williams built as a platform because that life is kind of lonely and you end up probably not having any friends okay not once you are gonna ride and die for you unless you're gonna be like gail and uh oprah but then again they never tell each other secrets so <sighs> wendy was the queen of telling people secrets or talking about them in the public eye and giving her opinion on what she felt was happening in that scene, of course, such as we as YouTubers do. All right. Um, but I wish Nene well. I wish all the housewives well. Because one thing you don't want to do is get stagnant. You don't want to be procrastinating. You don't want to be just treading water. And if Nene was kind of through with it, because I really think Nene would do well having her own show. I disagree with Wendy when she was saying who would want to watch her. Because, you know, quite frankly, Nene could have came back with a comeback and said, well, who really want to watch you? They're really not watching you. They're just listening to you tell a story about other people's lives and what's going out there in, in the media. And to me, Nene can pretty much do that, too, if she was so inclined to want to do it. People would just tune in just to see how Nene would get down and present her resources of where she's getting her information from and how she feels about it because that's pretty much what Wendy do we don't really know I mean she have fact checkers to go and check this that and third but Wendy pretty much be going on hearsay on what the public is saying out there and then she may get some inside scoop here and there but she can't really reveal her sources so depending on other things you just really don't know it might be people just saying it just to get it out there hell it might be the people that she talking about is putting stuff out on they sales to keep being relevant in the industry so it just is what it is y'all it just is what it is you can either believe them or believe it or not whatever's done in the dark gonna come to the light and you can always go back and say i told you so i know that person was lying I know that person. That's why I'm waiting on Candy. You know, Candy's very, uh, you know, sure of herself. And she feels that Bravo is not going to uh, view her in a bad light or whatnot. So I'm just waiting. I'm waiting. Because I, I know I don't want to see Todd up there as a storyline. Talking about he out there cheating again. I don't want to. I don't want to hear it. Because if that's the case, then I'm very much so inclined. She has nothing to give us. As far as entertainment, drama, you know, field. Uh scenarios that we like to partake of you know but um because you can only hear so much from the olg gang and them clowning and stuff of that nature and you can only hear so much of candy's restaurants not doing well which i don't know why she don't go and ask nene what she's doing you know to get these good ratings for inspections or hey i'll go ask peter thomas you know what he doing down now because all thing we hear is that you know he ain't paying his bills and stuff of that nature and cynthia over there forgiving his debt that he personally borrowed money from her but nothing comes out about failure to pass an inspection for your restaurant so i'm just saying i'm just saying but that's all i have for this video get down in those comments and tell me what you thought about um the story that i presented to you all and if you have comments about it, leave them. I'll read each and every one of them. Okay? And share my videos, please. Share, share, share. Sharing is caring. And like them as well. And if you're so inclined, go on and subscribe to the channel if you feel like it. If you don't, keep it moving, you know. Come back when you can. I'll leave the light on for you. And you can also hit that notification bell when I release videos. And then you'll know after they drop but other than that i will see you next video guys take care bye bye